Okay, YouTube, I thought I would go ahead and do a video myself. I've seen a lot of people messing with the OUYA lately, and I thought I would just kind of make a video myself. In fact, we'll go ahead and go to the OUYA Mini first so you can see something you're familiar with. Um, let's see. Got the OUYA set right on here. Um, I actually bought this a couple of weeks ago, a little over retail on eBay. I actually bought a new TV, too, with uh, HDMI inputs since... Living Retro is literally what I do. I have a lot of older stuff in my house, and I haven't really upgraded. I, I want this channel to be, you know, maybe a review on games, uh, older systems, and also kind of just a personal outlet, like a vlog. I mean, I lost my job a couple of nights ago, and I'm sitting here stressed right now. It's <laughs> mid-afternoon. I'm ar well, early afternoon. Hell, I'm already sitting here. got a little whiskey and coke set up and thought I would just kind of mess around with the Ouya today. I was used to working nights, so to me this was like a late night, um, and uh, right now I'm <laughs> not really quite sure what to do, and was kind of bored messing with my Ouya, so I thought I would make a video. I'm not sure how long of a video I'm going to be able to make, man, I'm watching this stuff drop down on my phone right now, so at least let me go ahead and tell you about sideloading some apps. Um, the Ouya menu is okay. Um, at least for far as what it is, I like to go in here at least to check out some new games, see if there's any new updates. Um, you know, uploading them's not bad, but I mean, look at this long string of crap. It becomes kind of a pain when they've got a nice text-based menu, and I wish they would just pop the games over here with a text-based menu and pop the icon next to it. Then when I click on it, I can see all the information. Hey, I might actually have to download that game. Um, it's not bad. What I would suggest doing when you first get your OUYA is go to your PC, download two files, get you Nova Launcher APK, and get you um, a file manager. I'm using Astro File Manager myself. Um, pop those in a Dropbox account. You can sign up and roll in for free. I think they give you like two gigs. You just want two files on it. Go down to Make, um, go down to Software, go to your browser, log into your Dropbox, download them to your um, OUYA, and install them. That said, once you have everything running, you'll be able to go to... Now, i got a lot of crap on here myself. Um, I think here's Nova Launcher right here. Um, I also have it set as my um, default launcher instead of OUYA right now. So I can also just hit my menu button twice and go straight into my OUYA. Um, this is what I'm using right now currently. I like the OUYA specifically because you know I can make uh, folders for everything I'm kind of using and... Uh, keep the uh, the home screen clean you know here's all my OUYA games here's some emulators I'm sorry if the video quality is not great I'm using a Galaxy Reverb to record this on it's just a cheap phone I have um, that said I can still show you a lot of stuff running on here um, now as far as my setup on here I've got a couple of widgets I'm using beautiful widgets up here this is um I have my desktop my desktop, my home screen set is 6x6 on here rather than the, uh, I think it's 4x4 originally standing. Um, so I've got this stretched out to 6x1, even though it's a 4x1 um, widget. Um, got, got the t date, got the time, got local weather. Um, I believe I'm using Minimalist Stylus Black is the, is the um, skin I'm using on the widget, as well as Onyx for the weather. You can also go come up here and click on the weather and get a nice full screen display of your current weather and what it may be like like oh look looks like it's gonna to storm today uh, let's see uh, this is a glass widgets RSS feed I've got it set to a local newspaper so I can check out local um, news feeds and um, you can scroll here on one side to go up and scroll on the other side to go down I can click on the OA to bring up my um, browser. I also have Chrome installed on here. I just put this on a couple of days ago. I don't even think you can see that, but I'll click on just once and we'll bring that up and let's see, I'll show you one of my kind of dislikes about using Chrome on here. Um, okay, um, there's a local news feed. I can, you know, read about a, uh, what is this, a local music store. And, um, so we can scroll back out of this from Google Chrome. I have to actually click out of the tab until I've got this black screen. And then I can hit back once, uh, the A button, and it'll take me out of it. Um, I've got quite a few different applications installed on here. Um, let's see, I've got uh, Facebook. This is just the mobile app. I have not found a good tablet or Google TV one to work with it. So it's glitchy. It closes out on its own. 
but it's still something. Uh, only Android game I've got installed on your Sonic 4 Episode 1. One of my, one of my biggest uh, complaints about this is the internal memory on this is only 8 gigs, so when you try to put Android games, the data wants to be on the same SD card as the APK. And you're like, you know, fuck that. I mean, you don't have a lot of room on that. Uh, 8 gigs, I mean, uh, God, Grand Theft Auto 3, I think, was what, a, a gig at least of um, data information that needed to be installed with it? Um, Sonic 4 installed the APK. It downloaded the um, the data information. I think it was 88 megs, so it's not taking up an entire, you know, huge amount of space on this, but... Um, yeah, that's still kind of a complaint. Uh, I'd like somebody to maybe make an application to move APK to USB. That would be awesome. Or, you know, give it some time in development. Maybe somebody can come up with an idea of a hack for uh, an external SD card so you can move APK to SD and we could play around with a lot more Android games on here. Otherwise, you're stuck over here with whatever OUYA games are in the marketplace. I only have demos right now. I, I have not even actually bought anything yet. Um don't really have the money now that I lost my job, so, you know, gotta make ends meet for the time being. Um, a bunch of emulators I've got running on here right now. Uh, 2600, EMUA, which does 2600 NES, and I think Game Boy soon. I've got a few complaints about it, but I do like the marketplace for indie developers to make new games, so I'll, I'll definitely still show that. EPSXE, PlayStation, um, I'm using a lot of the .emu emus. I love these. They are great. I will show you how to set them up. They work perfect with this. This is Game Boy Advance. I've got a Game Boy Color slash Game Boy. I've got Gearoid for um, Game Gear, Sega Master System, and um, Sega Mark III. Uh, Main for Droid Reloaded runs great. I just got that running a couple of days ago. MD.emu was the first thing I even got loaded on this. Um, I got that specifically for Sega CD. So that's Sega CD, Mega Drive, Game Gear, um, I'm, excuse me, uh, Sega Genesis. MSX does MSX 1 and 2. Moopin, this is the official OUYA one for um, N64. NDS for Droid, really it's just to show the fact that it is able to do it. Um, it's really slow, but it doesn't look bad. I think with some time and development, that could be a really good emulator. Um, Neo.emu for um, Neo Geo, that actually runs the MVS carts, not the AES home cart, so it's running the arcade ones. I believe it takes main .144 ROMs. Um, NES.emu, uh, NES, Famicom, um, Famicom Disk System. Um, NGP.emu for Neo Geo Pocket, PCE, uh, PC Engine, Super Graphics, and Turbo Graphics 16. RetroArch, the couple I'm using on that, I'll show some downfalls I don't like of this is so far. The OUYA controller is in um, testing with it right now. So uh, Final Burn for uh, Capcom, PlayStation 1 and 2, and Virtual Boy. And Super Genius, uh, that's the uh, official one from OUYA. I actually use that on my phone. Damn good emulator. Um, it's got some OUYA games, some radio apps. I got Pandora. This is uh, the Pandora 1. I got this off the XDA developer site. Uh, Scanner Radio Pro, uh, TuneIn Radio, that's official from OUYA. Uh, TV apps, uh, really, these are just streaming. I got Coolstream, Crackle. Um, fortunately, I only have the mobile version. I can't find a tablet. Um, Sopcast, SPB TV, Twitch TV. And this is a YouTube Blacked Out Edition I got from XDA. Um, I really only use it for the search functionality because in XBMC you can also view your subscriptions. Also got on live TV and you can view some um, web video um, view some um, web games as well, do some streaming. I got slow internet, 3.5 megabytes, and you know what, that plays pretty damn good. Um, really the only extra thing I've got installed on here, of course, is um Chrome. If I can find my bar here on the side. Well, I also have Chrome installed, <laughs> and uh, let's see, oh, there it went, um, Blueboard, so I can have a uh, the functionality of a uh, um, Bluetooth uh, keyboard on my phone. I wanted that for DOSBox when I start messing around with that. Um, MX Player Pro, I've got set as my default media player, so I'll definitely start doing some reviews on this, kind of showing you some stuff. My next video, I will we'll probably show uh, running Ice Films on XBMC. So um, stay tuned. Apex Zero actually did one on getting the XBMC hub 
to run on XBMC. Uh, he was showing Pandora running. He posted a link to the forum. I'll post a link as well. I'll also post a link over to his channel so you can view some other stuff running on this as well. I'm running out of time on my phone. This has already hit about 10 minutes, so uh, peace out, and I will be back and actually show you a lot of stuff running on this. Uh, take care.